So a warm welcome to you all. We will be on the way very shortly once all the pleasantries are complete. The teams then, Dijon against Stade René. Well, I'm Peter Drury, and I'm joined in the commentary box by the familiar figure of Jim Beglin. Thanks for that, Peter, and may I say a big hello to everyone. We can have a look at them now. So off we go then. Grenier. Some good work on the right flank. Now, what's next? That's one way of trying to make things happen. There's a few who could follow that example. Yang. And it's Grenier. Now the pass. Referee's given a throw. And Zonzi passes it through. It is early, but the game hasn't yet sparked into life. Ball's out on the left now. Nyang played out to the wing. Oh, glorious footwork! Good, strong hand by the keeper. Boots it to safety. He'll have a dip! And the follow-up, and he's done it! And Stade René take the lead! Well, he was never going to miss from there. Oh, look, there's only one player who merits all the praise for that. Not only did he finish it, but his instincts for being where he was are absolutely top-notch. Stade René take the lead, 1-0. Still a fragile lead, though. They can't afford to sit on this. Aimed long and direct. Well, he acknowledges that he should have come up with something better there. Yeah, and it was a case of, of good awareness, too, that wasn't quite matched by the, the right way to pass. It only needed just a little bit more behind it, and he was through. Pumps it upfield. So they got the only goal to give them a 1 0 lead. And he's made sure that that won't get through. Who's going to make this theirs? a pop no mistake all too easy 
They are in danger of disappearing out of sight. Jim, your thoughts? It's a simple game. A striker's job is to find the space as often as possible, and he did exactly that. Stad René take a two-goal lead and things should be comfortable from here on in. Well, that second goal has given them so much more command and confidence now and they should be able to take it on from here and either add to their lead or, or close it out. Surely they'll manage one or the other. Grenier. Looks like a good ball through. Big chance! One-on-one! -on -one, and he's on his way! Ball's loose, who's getting there? Looks to slip it through. Bruno Aquil Manga. Where to from here? Can he find a finish now? Spoon forward. Decent progress down the left. Tries a through ball. How about it? Oh, the ball's come loose and the chase is on. to meet it fair attempt just the wrong outcome well when he struck that he must have thought it was going in such are the margins of success and failure in this game that was so close And Zonzi. It's a good run down the left hand side. Floats one over. Bruno Aquil Manga gets it away. That'll be the final action of the first half. So your views on the first half? Stad René looked good for their lead. Um, as soon as they went ahead, they took full advantage of, of a loss of concentration and, and landed a second blow before recovery from the first. Uh, it's kicking them while they're down and, and it's got to be done. Stad René go in at half-time on a comfortable two-goal cushion. Start of the second half. And it's Niang. Thrust towards the front line. Looks to slip it through. Big relief, it just needed better contact. Right in front of the goal like that, and he's gone and missed it. I won't have to tell him that's not good enough. They've come out of the dressing room firing on all cylinders now. We could be in for quite a second half here. A 
Liverpool has crossed the line and it's a throw. Oh, no, that's not the ball he wanted. It's gone out for a throw-in. And that's another throw. Grenier gets it back. Balmore. Loose ball. Who's going to get that? Chance to shoot. He can get that clear. Stadrené with this handy looking 2 0 lead. They are looking comfortable. Away from immediate danger. Oh, the ball's come loose. Oh, extraordinary. Oh, look, the chance was an unexpected gift, which he should have taken. Um, that wasn't a pretty sight. Battles to win it back. Stad René haven't made a substitution yet. Nzonzi with a good steal, well played. Grenier already, of course, on the score sheet. Liang is being picked on here. Yeah, and if they're going to try and stop him in this fashion, Peter, um, they're going to really test the referee's patience from here. Niang. Great build-up. It all deserved a better ending. Well, I think they can breathe a massive sigh of relief then. Such a let-off. Oh, he really wanted that. It's tremendous play on his part, Peter, and he's proving to be a, a right handful throughout the game. And Zonzi. Grenier. Pushes it out wide. Grenier with the ball through. Good challenge, he just stood firm. Belmont. Tries to get it forward quickly. Cuts it out. Tried to play it through. Well, he simply failed to just put a little more oomph behind that. And the defence can get it clear. Aimed long and direct. Passes it through, clears it out of harm's way. Well positioned to make that interception. Danger averted for now. Well, there is some activity down on the touchline. It seems there's going to be a change. Now the pass. Wonderful quick feet. Looks to dink one in. And out to safety. Yang. Great run this, he's covered quite a distance. Coaxed out to the wing. Just five minutes left.
Balmore. Looks like a good ball through. Is it in? It's a loose ball. Gets good distance on it. And he nearly went all the way. Well, he certainly needs no invitation to run in on goal like that. Great. Whistle's gone, and they've got themselves a free kick. And the referee has shown him a yellow card. Well, there is concern on the faces of the players standing around him here. Well, it was deliberate, it was cynical, and you have to understand the frustration of, of being denied a clear opportunity, but it had to be done. Denied by a great piece of goalkeeping. And that is that. Well, the manager heads down the tunnel, swathed in satisfaction. His team have carried out his instructions to the word, and they have got their win. How do you look back on the game then, Jim? Well, we know clean sheets are always an important ingredient in any recipe, and while delighted with the win, they'll also be very pleased to have managed a shutout. So many thanks to Jim Beglin. That's all we have time for. Good evening to you. Yes, <laughs>